A car drives straight off the edge of a cliff that is 54 meters high. The police at the scene of the accident observed that the point of impact is 130 meters from the base of the cliff. How fast was the car traveling when it went off over the cliff? So let's try to solve this problem, no? Mas madali kung bibigyan natin siya ng, ng illustration. So let's say, uh, this will be our given. Say, uh, given as shown, we'll have, uh, let's say, um, this is the cliff and the car. So let's say this is the car. And according to the given, this is a 54 meter high cliff. Let's say this is the ground. And this cliff is 54 meters high. Let's say this is Y. Then the police at the scene of the accident observed that the point of impact is 130 meters from the base of the cliff. So the car drives straight off the edge and lands on, let's say, on this point which is, according to the given, is 130 meters from the base. So let's say this is, let's say x equal to 130 meters. Now, we are asked to find the velocity. How fast was the car traveling when it went off over the cliff? So if we are being asked to find the velocity, or how fast the car is traveling when it went all over the cliff, then we are being asked ng velocity at this point. At this point. So let's say this is the initial velocity. We are being asked for the initial velocity at that point. Just before the car went over the cliff. So this has, these are all the given. Okay, so we are being asked, uh, we are required to get vi the velocity of the car just before it went over the cliff okay but let us try to solve this problem let's first analyze so we have the vertical height of the cliff, which is 54 meters. And we're also given the range or the horizontal distance, 130 meters. So we have the vertical distance and we have the uh, horizontal distance. Now, at this point, dito sa point na to, bago lang mahulog yung uh, car, ano? bago mahulog yung car doon sa cliff, this is your uh, cliff, ano? So, bago lang siya mahulog, at this point, um, wala pa siyang Y. No? Wala pa siyang vertical component. Ang meron lang siya ay X component at that point. Pero the moment, no? The moment na yung car ay nasa mid-air na, no? Halimbawa, nakalagpas na siya sa cliff, no? At this point. Tapulit ko muna to. Let's say... Naandito na yung car. Let's say na andyan na yung car at that point. So free fall na siya. No? Sabihin natin ito na yung car. Nasa point na yan. Free fall na siya. Kapag naka free fall class and uh, naka two dimension, ang acceleration x is equal to zero. Your acceleration x is equal to zero. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya nag accelerate horizontally. Therefore, kung zero ang acceleration, ang V initial X ay equal sa V final X. All throughout the flight, parehas ang velocity niya. But your acceleration Y is equal to your acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to uh, 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so these are now our assumption for velocity and again at this point the initial velocity at this point just before it went off the cliff wala pa siyang wala pa siyang initial velocity at y 
So, VIY at this point is equal to 0. Okay, the initial Y is equal to 0. Therefore, at this point, we only have initial velocity X. So, the initial velocity at this point will just be equal to your initial velocity X. Okay, so if it is... Uh, the, if the initial velocity I equals uh, ating velocity initial x, our initial uh, velocity is equal to initial velocity x, then this will just be equal to, um, since ang acceleration niya is zero at x, no? the acceleration at x is zero, therefore, ito constant velocity. Constant velocity na siya. Ang initial velocity x ay equal sa b final x. If constant velocity lang siya, ang equation lang na gagamitin natin is x times time. Ito lang ang equation na gagamitin natin. Kaso, ang meron lang tayo, x, wala tayo ng time. Saan natin kunin yung time? Well, of course, yung time, pwede natin kunin gamit itong mga given na to, yung vertical height. Tapos yung gravity na 9.81 kasi parehas lang yung time na yon wala tayong time y or time x yung time na yon parehas okay so if we are to get time from the values of the y components binigyan tayo ng y yung vertical height and of course ang acceleration due to gravity initial velocity y is zero then how can we find for time Anong equation ang pwede natin gawin, uh, gamitin? So, we can use equation number 3. According to equation number 3, y is equal to v initial y times t plus 1 half g t squared. But initial velocity is equal to 0. So, this for, therefore, this will be equal to 0. Then, we are just uh, left with this equation. 1 half g T squared. But we need time so that we can solve for the initial velocity x. Okay, so if we will be uh, deriving equation for time, we'll have y is equal to gt squared over 2 or 1 half. So we'll have gt squared, gt squared is equal to 2y, divide this by g, divide by g. Therefore, t squared is equal to 2y all over g. Okay? So, from this equation, then to get time, square this, square this uh, side also of the equation, we'll have t is equal to square root of um, 2y all over uh, g. So, this is now our equation for time. So, if we will be substituting now our given time, this should be equal to the square root of 2 times. Now, if we will be using uh, our y, we will be using negative 54 meters. Bakit negative 54 meters? Because uh, sa time of travel, kung, kung titignan natin yung displacement, after mahulog yung car, nasa baba na siya. Okay, yung displacement niya ay negative 54 meters. So, ito ay 2 times negative 54 meters. Then, gamit din tayo ng negative value ng acceleration, which is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Or, sabihin na lang natin 9.80. So, we agree that the, uh, for con uh, consistency, let's just agree na 9.80 ang ating acceleration. So, let us solve for time. So, time now is the square root of 2 times a negative 54 over negative 9.80. So, the answer is 3.319 or 3.32 seconds. So, we have now idea of the time. Then, we can now solve for the initial velocity, which is also equal to your initial velocity x, equal to x times t, where x, according to the given, is 130 meters. 130, uh, uh, okay. 
Okay, our velocity or cut. So we have now an idea of our time which is equal to 3.32 seconds. Therefore, we can now compute for velocity initial. Where velocity initial is equal to initial velocity x, where velocity is x over uh, t, where our uh, horizontal distance is 130 meters all over 3.32 seconds. Therefore, our initial velocity is our initial velocity will be 130 meters divided our answer earlier is 39.16 meters per second so this is our answer for the velocity just before uh just after the uh, just before the car went over the cliff so 39.16 meters per second